Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 7. So another week goes by in our lives and just this world, and also another episode of The Flash approaches. It's just how, just how it works. So tomorrow's episode, from when this video comes out at the very least, uh, will be the last episode we have for a few weeks as they do then go on a three-week break, returning on May the 4th. So uh, Star Wars Day, I think they call that, May the 4th be with you. And that will be with an episode called The People vs. Killer Frost. Uh, so we'd expect this episode coming up tomorrow to set that up for the most part, as well as potentially some other potential things. Is that, is that English? Anyway. Uh, or carry on existing storylines with like the Speed Force, the other forces, and maybe some other stuff. So this week or tomorrow's episode is called Growing Pains, and they just released a bunch of promo images which extend some stuff we saw in the, uh, the trailer for the episode, but also show us some new scenes and also the reveal of a new character for this season, which will be integral with what's going on with Frost uh, in the next couple of episodes, or at least the next episode after this one at the very least. But of course, there's always a synopsis or a description to go over, which does give us context to what's going on here, especially one thing in particular. Uh, so we will read it up or read it out just to refresh your memories if you have heard it or even if you haven't heard it, one of the two. Uh, but of course, throughout the video, be sure, let me know your various opinions, thoughts, theories, all the all that stuff in the comment section down below, especially with a few things that we see in those promo images. I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you're looking forward to this episode tomorrow, why not drop a like on it to show support for the video on the channel and just your general hype. When a mysterious ice-powered enemy frames Frost for a brutal crime, she must find a way to clear her name. Meanwhile, Barry and Iris have a surprise house guest and Joe continues to deal with Kristen Kramer. So the first thing I want to mention before we actually jump into the primary images as a whole is actually the cliffhanger for this episode so i think we should expect to get a, a frost slash killer frost one in general because the next episode is called the people versus killer frost i think that's a no-brainer i think it almost be a bit naive and silly not to expect that but will they drop more than one i think it was episode one or two there was like three or four cliffhangers just in one specific episode so i do wonder whether they'll do something similar in this one where they'll set up Maybe just something else alongside the, the Frost slash Killer Frost stuff. I would expect maybe something with the Speed Force because we know there's something going on there and Barry's getting a hint at it. I think Cisco's got a hint at it. And I think Iris will get a hint at it in this episode, if not a lot of people. So they might do something cliffhangery or setup wise with the Speed Force that something's going on there. That's something I would expect, or at least I think that they could do um, other than the Frost stuff. But maybe they could also do something else maybe they do a bit of a tease or set up for an, one of the uh this one of the other force people that we've already met they but they might dive into who they actually are or something or tease that they're getting more powerful or something along those lines so i'd expect more than one cliffhanger which that main one should be the frost one but yeah if you have any theories as to what they could be or uh, you know guesses or what do you want to call them let me know in the comment section down below but yeah let's jump into these primary images so as i said there's a bunch i think there's like 18 17 or 18 one of the two but the first one we start off with is our good old mate joe now we assumed that this was just going to be a crime scene we knew that it was ivo labs and we can see the van in the background which says ivo but there's a lot of um there's some primary there is a lot of primary images here but there's a couple of other primary images which show more ivo lab vans so we should just assume that this crime scene that they're in is actually within ivo laboratory so someone's gone in there caused a crime now the CCPD is here to clean up their mess. So it's going to be taking place there. And it makes you wonder, what did they steal? Like Amazo, that a big Amazo thing from Elseworlds was from Ivo Lab. So what could be stolen from here must be pretty, uh, well, pretty expensive for one, but also potentially pretty lethal. But you might be wondering, uh, well, hold on, who, Joe's talking to someone. Who's he talking to? Well, it's none other than none of our mates, mate, that being Kristen Kramer. Don't think anyone's going to be siding with her. Maybe she has a really emotional backstory. Maybe we'll side with her. I'm not too sure. But we did see her in the trailer for this episode in this area. So she's chasing it. And it's pretty clear why she's here. It's because it's like an ice frosty related crime. She's obviously after frost slash killer frost. So she's going to be hunting down that cold trail. So she's going to be here. Um, and I do wonder, there is, I think another primary image, I think I'll quickly put it up on screen right now. It's actually Barry and Joe just talking to each other. And I wonder if they have concerns whether this actually could be Frost or not, because if they're, they're probably looking at stuff going, this is exactly what Frost does and stuff like that. And they might have their own suspicions and be like, well, hold on, her and Caitlin split. So maybe all the bad went to Frost's side and maybe she can have these 
outburst where she goes and goes and does something evil back to that killer frost sort of you know side of her so maybe they have their suspicions around that they wouldn't be overly ludicrous for them to you know theorize that um especially if frost was acting weird and also joe had talked to her last episode about like you know staying inside and stuff and frost was like no i'm gonna go out in the town i'm gonna live my life so maybe that was a maybe joe thinks that could be a way and you know so she can go and do her criminal stuff or something like that i'm not too sure but maybe they are you know potentially talking that that's a possibility they could also be talking about stuff like the speed force. Maybe Barry's talking to Joe about his suspicions that maybe the speed force isn't normal, that there's something weird going on there. There could be a couple of different scenarios in regards to what this conversation between Barry and Joe is relating to. Um, but I think the top two might be frost related and also the um, like speed force related. One of the two. Now we have um, Kristen handing this um, vial, not vial, like jar. That's probably the best word with this. It looks like ice covered in blood. And we'll come back to that in a second because it's fairly important and it, it, it leads to something that I wonder if they're going to show some gore in this episode or like allude to some gore. I have to wait and see. But you might be able to see a bit of a yellow and beige jumper in the back or jacket uh, in the back. And that is Chester. Chester's here. And I think he's just going to be filling in that Cisco type of role that we've seen Cisco in previous seasons, like that metahuman expert or what do you want to call it that lets him come to the crime scenes when it's a meta related crime. Um... And I'd assume that, I wonder if they, they might make Chester that role full time this season and then Cisco just shows up sometimes. I'm not too sure, but Cisco would usually be in this role in previous seasons, um, but Chester's going to fill it in. So I don't know if Cisco's in this episode at all. I can't remember if he was in the, in the trailer for this episode, I'm not too sure. Um, but, you know, Chester's going to be playing that role that we've seen Cisco doing previously. So get ready for that. But yeah, this was the thing I was talking about. So I think, I don't know if that's the exact same jar that Barry was holding. It's just a crime scene, you know, forensics jar that he'd put evidence in. So maybe Kristen was having a look at it or maybe she had something from a previous crime scene that she stole. I'm not too sure. But in the bottom left, you can tell that someone's been frozen and then been smashed into a million bits. Um, I know we got Mortal Kombat, the movie coming out soon. So maybe this was a fatality from Sub-Zero. I'm not too sure, but someone's been smashed into some bits and I wonder if we will see that happen or someone will just walk upon that. Maybe they might keep it like in the dark or not show it to us because they don't want to give a hint as to who did it. Maybe they want us to believe that Frost did it, even though the synopsis tells it that it wasn't her. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see what the episode does, but I wonder who the unlucky mofo was that got smashed into a million bits after getting frozen. I hope it, yeah, I wouldn't wish that upon myself. I don't think any of us would, unless you got a weird fantasy. But yeah, let's see who it is, who it is. But Barry's got uh, some gruesome stuff to deal with. Now, there's this shot here of Kristen and Barry, and it's like Barry's just doing general CSI work. Maybe he's just trying to test if it's human blood. Maybe that's what the, the test is or something like that. Or maybe he's testing the f like the ice around it to see whether it has like meta genes or meta particles, what do you want to call them in it, like dark matter. I'm not too sure. But in the background, you can see more Ivo laboratory vehicles. So this sort of proves and confirms it's within Ivo Labs, I'm pretty sure. So just thought I would show that. But um Kristen looks curious. Very curious. And this is a pretty cool shot. This is actually probably one of the cooler and you know, it's not because Frost is there, because you know, cool Frost. Anyway, it it's it's like an explosion in the background. She's like walking away from an explosion, which is sort of rare in a promo image. It looks like an explosion, at least unless it's like some Terminator apocalypse sort of thing. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Like Judgment Day. I'm not too sure what's going on in the background there. But yeah, I just looked at it. It's like I just looked at that and it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, now I do wonder where she is. It sort of looks like potentially it's Ivo Labs, maybe. And maybe she's in like the wrong place at the wrong time, and that's why she gets connected to it more deeply. Maybe she's caught on surveillance in the area that's around the time that the crime could have potentially happened. I'm not too sure, but this is gonna be a Killer Frost heavy episode, and you know, she's gonna be doing her own thing. But I'm curious to where this exactly is. I would say Ivo Labs, but I'm not 100 percent sure whether it is or not. But, um, you know, I have to wait and see. I thought these couple of primary images looked fairly cool, at least in regards to the, well, that explosion stuff going on in the background. But yeah, we do have the Speed Force here. This is the only primary image, with, uh, primary image with her in it, which is surprising because she's in the trailer a lot. But I guess they wanted to focus on other stuff in the primary images. Now, we know from the trailer that, like, when she's near Barry, Barry gets, like, overloaded with speed. She's, like, this battery. And when she's just too close to Barry, it's just too much. So, um... It'll be interesting to see what they do with her in this episode. I wonder if there is going to be more 
suspicions about her from Barry and others growing. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, I, fin- I find it weird that she's just out in the open, especially as Nora Allen. Hopefully they can explain that potentially, but I don't know, that could be compu- confusing, but that's for us to wait and find out. But yes, for those worried that The Flash might not be in an episode of The Flash, don't worry, he's suiting up. He's in like a bar area with Allegra here who's got like a Nash look or attire on, whatever you want to call it. And you might be wondering, well, who are they taking on? Well, this is when we get the reveal of Chillblaine. This is our first look at Chillblaine for this season, played by John Corr. I am, like, the the the, the look is maybe definitely not Chillblaine from the comics, but I'm not too surprised because they weren't going to make him this full-on Captain Cold, at, you know, decked-out villain. He's going to be, like, like, this, I guess, new guy that's around. The thing I'm curious about is whether he's actually a metahuman or whether these gauntlets just have the power. So he's sort of, he's like Captain Cold where he just has weaponry that, you know, provides the, the cold power, if you want, like a cold powered weapon, if you want to call it. In this case, he has gloves rather than a gun, or if he has meta abilities and the gloves just sort of help him. I'm not too sure. I would assume that he doesn't have meta powers and maybe the gloves just do all the work, but it could be a mix of the two. So maybe he has some meta human stuff and he can't really control and the gloves help. Um, maybe I mean it black helped him out. I'm not too sure, but yeah. So we have these gloves here, which I'm sure will be something related to his powers, whether they are the source or whether they just help him control him. But yeah, that's who Barry's taking on and who is the enemy of Frost. This isn't the only episode he's in. I think he goes up until episode 10 or 11. I think he's in up in up until. So he's not just for this episode. So expect him more than expect him and him in more episodes than just this one. If I got that out correctly. And the final primary image is of Flash, Allegra, and Frost, and she's showing Barry something on her phone. Maybe it's video proof of that he was the one that did it, or it's a recording or something like that. I'm not too sure. Frost looks pretty smug when showing it to Barry, but Barry doesn't look overly convinced, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but obviously the next episode is called The People vs. Killer Frost, so I don't think this episode is going to end the way that uh, the way that Caitlin uh, wants it to end, so... I don't know. Let's cross our fingers and see what happens. But yeah, that's all to go over, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on all this. Uh, thoughts, theories, all that. I'm always curious to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.